welcome to segment 3 of Module 1 Voltage Measurement Using an Oscilloscope. These are the outline for this segment. The first one are first one is aims, then tool and materials, DC theory, data processing, and report form. There are three aims for this module, which are measure voltage and determine voltage form from direct current or DC and alternating current or AC using multimeter and oscilloscope. The second one, determine this energy form from two power supply in some frequency and determine the phase differences. And the last one is determine output or mathematical operational function and superposition principle of wave. These are the two raw materials that we use in this experiment. And then we go to basic theory. There are two theories that will be needed to understand this module, which are oscilloscope and the statue pattern. Let's go with oscilloscope first. Oscilloscope is a tool to examine voltage signal that may be constant or dynamic. There are two types of oscilloscope. Analog oscilloscope, as you can see from this picture above, and digital oscilloscope. Analog oscilloscope used cathode ray tube or CRT that works under analog electronic centripetal. And the second type, the digital oscilloscope. Digital oscilloscope works under digital principle. It works using digital principle. In digital oscilloscope, the CRT is no longer used as a, as a display. An LCD monitor is used instead. So digital oscilloscope is oscilloscope, the type of oscilloscope that we use in LFT. These are buttons on the digital oscilloscope. And then after that, the research pattern. The research pattern is a display mode on the oscilloscope screen that can be used to find phase difference, frequency, and magnitude comparison of two waves. We will need this to find phase difference. There are two equations that govern the laser jet pattern. The first one above is used for the left picture, while the laser jet pattern is tilted to the right, while the second equation is used for the right picture. It used when the laser pattern is tilted to the left. As you can see, there are A, B, C, and D. B represents the distance between two points and the laser pattern that cross the X axis, while D is the distance between two points and laser pattern that cross the Y axis. The A is the farthest distance, the farthest X direction distance from the left farthest point to the farthest point on right on the right. While C is a distance between the farthest point to the up to the farthest point in the top. Now Let's continue to data and processing. There are four experiments in this module. Experiment one, measuring direct current or DC voltage. We determine the average voltage for two instruments, multimeter and oscilloscope. For this experiment and the second experiment, you will be given the picture and you need to do the table by yourself. So the data in oscilloscope is pretty clear from the picture. You can see the voltage, the average voltage from the picture. For experiment two, 
Measuring alternating current or AC voltage, we will have two variations. The first variation we we make the frequency as a constant value of one kilohertz while we differentiate the V P P. And then the second table, the second variation, we make the V P P as constant as possible to two four. And we differentiate the frequency to one, two, five, ten, and one hundred kilohertz. For experiment three, we will be given the picture of one to one frequency of residual pattern one to two, three to one, and three to two. We just need to put the picture to your assignment. And then you need to determine the phase different from one to one residual pattern. As you can see from this picture, the delta x on this picture represents the value of A, the farthest point from the left to the right. As you can see, the value here represented by delta x is 2. And in this picture, it represents the B value. As you can see, that it is the distance between two points that cross the x-axis. The value is 880 millivolt or 0 0.88 volt. Because the lizard pattern is tilted to the left, we use the second equation, 180 degree minus R sinus B per A. And the result is 153.90 degree. And in the last experiment, you will be given a picture and you need to determine which one is the addition of two wave and which one is the subtraction of two wave. As you can see, this picture represents the A plus B or the addition from two waves. And this picture represents the subtraction of two waves or A minus B. In this two picture, the frequency is zero hertz. And the very last, the report form. From the report, we need to write the day date, time of, and the time of practical. And then don't forget your name, your ID number, your class, and your name and the ID number of your assistant. The lab condition that will be given. If not, you can use this in this example. And the experimental A, experimental apparatus, brief theory, just a very brief theory, no need to be very long. The data and processing, the analysis and discussion, the analysis will be given in the time of the practical. And the last one is the conclusion. Well then, it's the end of segment three. I hope you understand this module clearly and good luck.